Welcome into Wager Talk TV. I am Drew Martin, joined by Robbie Vino and Tony Mejia of wagertalk.com. We're talking Thursday night football here, Robbie Vino. We got the Egg Bowl. Nothing better than Mike Leach and Lane Kiffin. Thursday night, turkey, giving thanks and watching Mississippi and Mississippi State. We get total of 62. Mississippi State minus one and a half point home favorites in Starkville. What are you liking in the Egg Bowl, Rob? All right, let's start right there real quick, Drew. Um, Power ratings made this game old Miss minus one, so it's in the general vicinity. That total's been bet up from 60 and a half to 62. Look at the weather here real quick. This game's being played 630 at night, central time. Looks like light showers throughout the first half, maybe into the third quarter a little bit, then it's going to clear. Temperature's nice. Um, you know, 45 to 53 is what I saw during game time, and no winds to speak of, three to nine miles per hour. Um, Let's look at these ATS results real quick here from recent games between these two guys. For Ole Miss, they're 0-6 to the under in their last six games. That slide started at Tennessee, and it directly coincides with all the injuries that Ole Miss suffered to skill positions. They were playing with, you know, that without their top three receivers for a few weeks in this mix. The other side of the coin for Mississippi State, last four games, 4-0 and over the total. Mike Leach's air raid has taken hold. We've seen the effects of it the last few weeks here. Um, Ole Miss 4-2 and against the number in those last six. Even though they've gone under, you wouldn't expect Ole Miss to cover games that are unders, but they have. Um, on the other side, Mississippi State just as hot, even hotter, 5-1 and against the spread in their last six. At I'm going to preface this play, guys, on the fact that I think there's some real abnormalities in this Ole Miss six-game string. Um, I like this game over. It's been played over. But let me just point a couple of things out that don't make any sense. Even though Ole Miss has played with Matt Corral on a bad ankle without receivers during this stretch, when they played Tennessee, they gained 510 total yards but only scored 26 points. Those numbers just don't correlate. It's not supposed to be 5, 10, and 26 points. They come back against LSU. They get 470 total yards, as shorthanded as they were. 31 points, that's okay for 470. 464 against Auburn, they only scored 20 points. 466 against Liberty, they only scored 27 points. 504 against A&M, including 408 yards in the first half. And they only scored 20 points because nine of their 29 were scored by a defensive return for touchdown and a safety. And then last week, they rolled up 470 against Vanderbilt and scored 31 points. That, that guys, it shows how good this Mississippi offense is. That's 2,884 yards without your top group in there. 481 yards a game, but only 25.8 points. It just doesn't add up. At some point, all of these yards are going to become points. And it may be this game because Ole Miss is a heck of a lot healthier the last couple of weeks than they were the prior three or four. To that tune, the defense has put up the same kind of crazy numbers. This defense is allowing 427 and a half total yards over the last six games. And I just talked about how all six have gone under, yet they're gaining a ton of yards. They're giving up a ton of yards. They've given up 427 and a half a game, but only 21 points a game. It just does These things don't continue. They're abnormal. Um, 457 total yards Liberty gained against this team and only got 14 points. Vandy, here's how poorly Mississippi's, you know, the overall statistics, things might look good for Ole Miss, but when you give up 454 to Vandy, they only got 17 points out of it. Mississippi State is not going to get 454 yards and only 17 points. That offense is red hot right now. They'll cash in on the bad Ole Miss defense. Um, last four SEC games, it's 37 points a pop for Mississippi State. In every single one, they've scored 31 or more. 483 yards per game. Will Rogers, how about these numbers out of Will Rogers this year? 76% completions. The guy's thrown 572 passes. It's got 76% completions, 34 TDs, only eight interceptions. Um, th this team okay. offensively doesn't even need a running game. They throw for huge amounts of yardage without even attempting to run. 
I think this game's going over, guys. I think Ole Miss's last six results are very abnormal. It turns here. Lane Kiffin may have been saving something last week against Vanderbilt for Mississippi State. Mike Leach probably was saving something for them. Last year, it gets to 55 points, and Mike Leach's offense wasn't even working last year. Game totaled 55, so I'm going to take over 62 in this one. All right, bucking the trend of six straight unders with these old Miss uh, games here, Tony. And uh, the Mississippi State defensive line, pretty solid itself. But Robbie makes some good points, to, you know, kind of pointing towards the offense here Thursday night. Both teams kind of keeping something in their back pocket, knowing rivalry week was coming up on a short week here for the Egg Bowl. What do you like Thursday night, Tony? Yeah, I mean, I think there's no question that we didn't see anything from Ole Miss against Vanderbilt, and essentially it ended up being a bye week. I, I would bet that they uh, actually didn't even prepare for Vandy. Uh, they just started preparing for uh, Mississippi State you know, way back when. And it's interesting because there is no run game for the Bulldogs, so you really don't have to prepare for that. The run, the passing game, the short, the short little swing passes are an extension of their run game, uh, and sometimes that creates issues in the red zone. It has for, for past – Mike Leach teams. Uh, and, you know, to touch on the total, uh, it, it seems like we figured out that passing exclusively doesn't really do much for what, you know, high scoring games. Instead, we've, we've seen totals in the 53 to 47 range over the last month for Mississippi State, and they've all gone over. Conversely, for Ole Miss, We've seen totals in the 57 to 67 range, and they've all gone under. So this is like a happy medium. I put it at 62, uh, and uh, that's that's what the Vegas number is. Uh, I could see it going over. I just, to me, I think that this is the total is going to be dicey because Rob touched on it. There's going to be passing showers. We don't know what the uh, actual you know force that those showers would have and the lasting impact on the game will be. Um, maybe closer to tip uh, to kickoff, we'll we'll have a better idea of what uh, actual the weather will what, what role that uh, weather will play into this contest. Uh, I think Matt Corral is going to be ready. It's it's great to see Ontario Drummond back. They're obviously much healthier than they were the last time they hit the road against Auburn. We'll get to hear all these uh, awful cowbells. They'll be a part of everybody's uh, Thanksgiving night. But it's interesting that uh, Ole Miss has only hit the road three previous times all season. They got beat at Alabama, at Tennessee, that memorable game where they actually had a stand late uh, after the Vols fans all threw all that garbage on the field. And there was about a 15-minute delay, uh, and it looked like they were going to uh, give that game away. But Joe Milton came in, uh, made a horrible decision, and they were spared. And then obviously the Auburn game where they were the walking wounded and uh, really had nothing in that game. Uh, fell behind early, mounted a comeback, but really wasn't meant to be. This game, I think it means everything to uh, to Lane Kiffin. He wants to, uh, for recruiting purposes, go up 2-0 on Mike Leach in their uh, head-to-head meetings. Um, Matt Corral's obviously leaving for the NFL. I don't think he's going to win the Heisman Trophy, but he wants to go out with another win over the Bulldogs, have bragging rights. Uh, you know, after leading the nation in total offense last season, uh, he's got 19 touchdowns, three picks, and uh, has another 10 touchdowns on the ground. Um, so, you know, you, if you finish an undefe- a, a season at home undefeated, uh, your losses on the road to Bama and Auburn, yeah, you're not competing for a national championship, but you can't compete for a New Year's Six Bowl. Uh, you can beat your rival. I think this game is uh, designed for Ole Miss to uh, make a stand. I think the defense is a lot better, and we saw that from the beginning of the year where they shut out Louisville in that first half. Um, you know, clearly it's, it's a team that's improved. Uh, Kiffin's got his paws into it, uh, and his hooks into what they want to do. Uh, and now that they're healthier, I think that they're a better team. So I'm going to go ahead and take the points on the road with the rebels to beat Mississippi state outright. Tony, like in hottie toddy Thursday night, guys, enjoy the game, Mississippi state and old miss happy Thanksgiving. Also make sure to check out wagertalk.com. We got $9 Monday, all plays discounted to just $9 from all the handicappers. Check it out, wagertalk.com.